documenting my journey. My grandfather, my mom's dad, brought his young family to California just over 100 years ago. They could have easily ended up in Kansas. I don't know if it was a coin flip decision, but they came over on the train and made a home in San Gabriel, California in 1918. Literally, he built the home my mom, the youngest of 13, would be born in and lived in until she married my dad, who happened to live down the street a block away. My grandfather only got as far as grade school, elementary school, but worked hard to support his large family as a gardener. He lived in a time when one working parent could support a big family, own the home and property they lived on, and raise all 13 kids to adulthood. It wasn't easy, but nothing was easy back in the day. I think about my grandfather when I'm telling my own story because I was named after him. I never got to meet him in that I was born the same week he died. But I know that he had to make some tough choices, then back up those choices by working hard every day. I like to think that I've taken after him and my dad in that I've stepped out of my own comfort zone and made difficult choices when I needed to. My dad was like that too, not satisfied to do just what everyone else did. He did pretty good for us even though he never went to college. I think I got my workaholic tendencies from him. I appreciate that they made huge sacrifices and never quit working so that we could have better lives. My family succeeded through hard work. Neither my dad or granddad went to college. They lived at a time when you could be successful by working like crazy and taking advantage of every opportunity that came your way. But my brother and my sisters and I, all five of us have college degrees. I have three college degrees. My brother and one of my sisters have two college degrees and my other two sisters have one college degree. Hard work and education. That was our key to success. I also grew up when Americans went to the moon and that influenced my thoughts about what we can do when we put our minds to it. I recognize that my story is a combination of the choices my grandparents and my parents made, the choices I've made, and the times I've lived in. Because all of those choices are different for everyone, everyone's story is different. But it is so important that we get a chance to tell our own story, to document our journey. If we don't take the time to document the journey, then someone else will step in and probably get it all wrong. It's important that we learn to tell our own story and honor the choices that others made so that we could enjoy the opportunities we have today. It's important that we learn to tell our own story and not let anyone else try to spread their ideas about the lives that we've lived and the choices that our families have made. 